I feel about this kind of the way I felt when I saw all those Dave Portnoy stories come out. With all the, like a lot of women accusing Dave Portnoy of being kind of gross. And that is, don't marry Donald Trump. Don't slide into Dave Portnoy's DMs and have sex with him within an hour of meeting him. These are bad ideas. Mm. And I am not gonna vote for Donald Trump to be my husband. <laughs> like, I, that's not happening, right? And I can admire Dave Portnoy and his talent as a broadcaster without thinking it's a good idea to you know, slide into his DMs. I just think like we're kind of past the point as an, elect as an electorate of being that buttoned up on a man's sex life and the weirdness in it, as long as it's not a Me Too situation. You know what I mean? Like, eh, I don't, I don't have to marry him. I don't have, like, I need somebody who's going to close the damn border, Dave, right? It's like, and by well, the way, if we're going to go there, why is Joe Biden taking inappropriate showers with his daughter, according to her? Can we ask that? Where's the trial and the endless media coverage on it? Yeah, absolutely. I've been telling Stu for years to stop dropping into Portnoy's DMs, but- um, <laughs> It's not good answers. I'm glad, <laughs> glad that you're back to me up on this stuff. <laughs> um, no, look. I think you're absolutely right. I just want to go back just quickly on, on the jury thing, this idea of, well, why don't we present our own version of here are the events? I, you know, I remember my mom was a criminal defense attorney, and she used to talk to me about that point very directly. And she said the worry that she always had with that was that then instead of saying to the jury, if you have any reasonable doubt, you have to find not, not guilty, you're putting these competing theories in their mind and that the jury might say, which theory do I believe more and go that way. So you've gone from giving yourself the highest level of standard to a 50, 50 choice between in any event, that's all complicated from the electoral standpoint. I agree with you hundred percent, Megan. I mean, I think at this point, short of, of exactly, you know, there being allegations of, of sexual assault. And, and we even had those with Trump, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, well, that so, that's right, Dave. And that had come yeah. out separate apart. The Stormy, it's not like Stormy was like, Donald Trump raped me. Now that would have been worth paying to stop, right? Like if that, that would have gotten a bigger number and if that had happened, it would have been an absolute game changer, potentially. I don't know though, because all these other women did come out and say what they said. But, but to your point, the Access Hollywood tape broke in October, and then we did have a parade of women come out and say, yeah, look what he did to me on an airplane. Look what he did to me in a hotel room, et cetera. Look, I'm not, I'm not sure that we're better off today than we were you know, in, in the 80s. I won't say the 90s, because Bill Clinton skated on some, on some pretty serious sexual stuff in the 90s, right? But in the 80s, Gary Hart didn't, right? Gary Hart's campaign, and he had a real good chance at winning. Gary Hart's campaign ended because there was a picture of a woman in a bikini sitting on his lap. That was all it took in 1984. Now, I think part of that is that we didn't have social media. Part of that is that journalism was able to sit on stories, right? We didn't know about all of JFK's stuff. I don't know if we're in a better position today than we were when that kind of stuff was disqualifying because today nothing's disqualifying. I mean, yeah. there, there's just there's just nothing that's disqualifying anymore. The, the idea seems to be if that's my guy and he's going to get done what I want to get done, you know, I don't care if his son was sitting on the board of Burisma and did X, Y, Z, right? right? I, I mean, it just doesn't matter anymore. And I, I, th that does worry me a little bit as a society because I, I'm old enough to remember when it wasn't quite like this. I like that point. I mean, I feel the same. I, like I... I'm saying I don't want to marry Donald Trump. Not that that's an option, but I'm just saying I don't want to marry mm -hmm. Donald Trump. But it, I would much rather be able to vote for a president whose character I admired, you mm -hmm. know, who yeah. who I didn't think cheated on his wife repeatedly, and especially after she just gave birth to their baby. I, but even as I say that, I don't know what their deal is. I don't know what Bill and Hillary's weird marriage is about either. I don't. All I know is like, if I could have a strong leader who I respected and admired and who I could show off to my children, I would love it. I told the audience when I was in LA, I, I got to go see privately the movie Reagan, which is oh, coming cool. out in August. Mm -hmm. Run, don't walk yeah. to the nearest theater. It's so good. 
I, I, it was very powerful. I was glued to my chair. It's whatever you're thinking, it's too little. It's amazing. And, you know, sure, they're not like making a movie of all of Reagan's downsides, but they do hit a couple of them. Like they, they call a couple things to, to, to note. And you just leave having such deep respect for him and loving country and being a little fond for like how we, I don't know, he loved his wife. I'm sure now there's gonna be some stories about, so like, this is what I wrestle with, Dave, because is it that Reagan was genuinely better husband to somebody like Nancy? And we like that and genuinely better man who'd been raised right in a Christian family that taught him good ideals? Or is it that the press didn't pick apart his life the way they do? to our modern day politicians. I don't know, Dave, what do you think? I, I think it's probably uh, both. Stu, sorry, I, I think getting you. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll throw to Stu, but I, yeah, yeah, I would say it's both. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I I think with Reagan, honestly, I do think he was just a better person than a lot of these people today. I mean, I just have to say it. I think he, I mean, this is a guy who wound up writing an entire book of his love letters. He wrote a love letter every day to his wife. I mean, he was, I think, a really unique and special person. We're not always going to hit that standard. And I think people get a little... Um, sensitive when it comes to talking about the 2024 election. This is a separate point from the 2024 election. You look at the yeah. candidates we have, you mentioned the problems with Biden. Trump famously has had all sorts of these issues uh, in relationships throughout the years. And don't even start looking at the RFK Jr. life, uh, his womanizing that he's admitted to. I mean, he might have the, the worst record on this front out of all of the candidates. This might not be a 2024 election issue, but it, it, it is a sane thing to think about that maybe in 2028 we can all look forward and maybe find someone who can do a good job on the border and isn't constantly cheating on their wives that's not an mm -hmm. insane standard there are 330 million people in this country we should be able to find a person who can check off those two boxes yeah that'd be nice or, or a serial cheater in the case of at least bill clinton you know it's like my god we took a deep dive into his troubles who knows do you owe back taxes Pandemic relief is now over. Along with hiring thousands of new agents and field officers, oh joy, the IRS has kicked off 2024 by sending over 5 million pay-up letters to those who have unfiled tax returns or balances owed. No one wants to get those letters. Don't waive your rights and speak with them on your own. Tax Network USA, a trusted tax relief firm, has saved over $1 billion in back taxes for their clients, and they can help you secure the best deal possible. Whether you owe 10000 or $10 million, they can help you. Whether it's business or personal taxes, even if you have the means to pay, or if you are on a fixed income, they can help finally resolve your, your tax burdens once and for all. Call 1-800-245-6000 for a private free consultation or visit tnusa.com slash Megan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.